show was made possible by Lilibet Affiliates and with the continued support of the AFMORE Affiliate Program. Well, well. Heidi ho neighbors. I hope everyone is holding up under the weight of isolation. And as we begin the process of slowly coming out of hiding, let us keep our fingers crossed that we don't just piss off this virus and stir up another round of infections. And what a weird, weird friggin' week of news we have for you with mixed messages and seemingly contradictory statements. Well, well, you'll see for yourself as we begin in the United Kingdom where the Gambling Commission has issued new guidelines for protecting players during the coronavirus lockdown while simultaneously admitting there is no evidence to support any increase in problem gambling during the pandemic. Yes, the Commission has published new checks and bans and restrictions to prevent problem gambling while simultaneously reporting that a majority of players have not increased their time or their money spent on gambling at all. And ironically, just as the Commission was releasing their new guidelines, a study was being published by the British marketing research group YouGov. A study showing that overall gambling activity has declined during the UK's stay-at-home orders. So what the hell gives? Well, that same study indicates that just over 20% of players have actually increased their time and or money gambling. So I'm guessing that those are the players the Commission was referring to when they ever so carefully prefaced their new guidelines by saying the evidence shows that some gamblers may be at greater risk. Of course, you and I know that the rate of problem gambling is nowhere near 20%. And while I support player protections, I also see the Commission's move for just what it is, politics, and covering the old backside. Welcome back. Having covered the seemingly contradictory statements of the UK Gambling Commission in the first half of the show, let's kick off the second half of the show with mixed messages. In particular, the Dutch gaming regulators' recent comments that during the coronavirus lockdown, they would be more lenient toward online bingo operated by people, and I quote, with a good heart, to which I thought, great, I've got a good heart. I could run a bingo site. J. Todd Bingo is on the way, but not so fast. Turns out that when they say, with a good heart, what they really mean is people who would run a bingo site out of the goodness of their heart. In other words, for free. The regulators were quick to issue a warning that they would take action 
if any online bingo site was run for money. And call me naive, but I don't know anyone in this industry who's going to spend their dollars to put up a charity bingo site and run it for fun, targeted to the Dutch just for the coronavirus. But maybe I'm wrong. So if you're interested, coronabingo.com is taken while corona.bingo is still available. You're welcome. And finally, two stories that are completely unrelated to one another. Uh, we wrap up the show of mixed messages and contradictions with Danish authorities blocking 16 online gambling sites a couple weeks ago. 16 of them. Sites they said were operating illegally. 16. Then, in a totally unrelated story, comes word that the gambling levels have recently fallen in Denmark. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Well, you know, my friends, you really don't need a slide rule to do the math on that one. Wow. You know, uh, that right there, that's just good investigative journalism. That's what that is, yeah. Well, all righty, kiddos. It's time to slap this show on the ass and send it on down the road. So, until next time, God willing, I'll uh, I'll see you on a future show. Yeah. Woo! Who's your daddy? Hmm. Well, well. Heidi ho, neighbors. I hope everything is uh, holding well. Hey, welcome back. Having covered the seemingly contradictory statements... Uh, uh,